Hey everyone, welcome back to Jack's Stack of Stuff. Uh, if you saw my last episode, I mentioned that I was going to be going over my Pokemon cards. So with the holidays over, I figured I'd finally get around to that. And here they are. If you can see, I keep them in my old Dragon Ball Z Capsule Corp Power Pack. As I mentioned, I used to be really into the Dragon Ball Z card game. I still have this box from when I was doing that. But it's a good box for card collecting, so they're still in here. So, on to the Pokemon cards. Shuffle these, separate these out by section, make them a little bit easier to go over. So I'm going to first be doing this go over and over my Japanese cards before I go into my English cards. I just really like my Japanese cards. Alright, that separation is good enough for now. This first set of my Japanese set is, I believe it's the gold, silver, and crystal set. In America they were called the Neo set, if I remember correctly. They are in Japanese. As you can tell from the back, they're the Japanese sets. Uh, the English sets have a different design there on the back, so you can tell which one's the English, which one's not from the back, as well as the front, because obviously different language. Actually, let me, let me go a little bit the background first. Started collecting when Pokemon became popular in the 90s, and the reason why I like these sets in particular is because I got these sets here before the gold, silver, crystal games came to America. So this was my first glance at taking a look at some Pokemon that I wouldn't be seeing for quite some time. Now, obviously, I know what they are. I don't know, I I know I'm missing some cards because I know I used to have a Meryl, which for me was super exciting because that was the confirmation of Pika Blue. For those of you who remember what Pika Blue, that whole myth was. I don't have that card anymore. I don't know where it went, but like I said, it was really cool getting these cards as a kid. So I can take a look at see things I felt like before anybody else. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's actually finally dig into these cards. I already showed off Hoot Hoot here. And then I have a Sun Kern. I don't know what any of these things do. I don't know what this does. I can't read Japanese, but I, I like I like the look of them. And I got my uh, Shuckle here. That's really cool. I really hope to God this is in focus or else this is going to suck. I got Mantine, and then this uh, Horsey. I forgot what it was called for a second. I can take a moment. The artwork on this Horsey is different than the rest of the cards, but so he always kind of stood out to me there. All right, then Girafferig, I got that. And then this Clefairy. It's got the same art style as the Horsey. Then there's some of my favorite two cards of my Japanese set is the Togepi and a shiny Togetic. This was before Togekiss came out. I don't know if you can see that it is shiny there. These are my favorites because, you know, they were in the anime before the games, so I was aware of these cards. And then Murkrow. I remember this card in particular because I had no idea what on earth this was, and, you know, dark types didn't exist in the original game, so it was nice to have this little dark type. Completely new, completely different, so of course now it's old. Everybody knows what this is who plays the game. This was really cool at the time. And there's this, which is apparently a berry. For the years, I thought it was an egg, you know, like Togepi came out of. But no, it's apparently it's a berry. Don't know what it does. I'm sure I can look it up, but I don't feel like it. And then is the new Pokedex for Gen 2. You can see that there. It says Handy 808, which I always thought was Handy Bob as a kid, because the 8s kind of look like bees. Now on to the second set. I only have two cards in this set, so I have literally no idea how I acquired these. These are from... Hang on a second. Apparently these are from the Southern Isle set. I don't know. I can't read any of it. You can tell the set by this little icon here on the side. The image changed depending on what set you are. And the set for this is a little is a tree. But I've already spoiled it. The Pokemon here is Lapras. And the second one I have here is a Jigglypuff. Apparently this set comes with Mew. I wish I had a Mew, but I don't. Just those two. Next is the Team Rocket set. I guess these are Pokemon who are owned by Team Rocket. I don't know. Again, I only have three of them. I have no idea how I acquired these because the packs contain ten cards. So it's not like I got an old pack of the Team Rocket cards. And I must have got these, traded these at somewhere at school. But anyway, onto the card. This is a shiny Vileplume. 
He looks really cool with his, I guess, tipping his, if he was wearing a hat, he's tipping it over his eye. I'm a bad guy. Apparently these are evil Pokemon. Oh, evil Vileplume there. Then I have this Machoke and Machop, both owned by Team Rocket. And that brings us to the base set. These are pretty much the original cards, but just Japanese versions of them. So I have a shiny Japanese Hitmonchan there. And then this Vulpix. Again, don't know how I got these considering I only don't have enough for a full pack, but there we go. All right, so now we're on to the bulk of my Japanese sets. These are the gym sets. Uh, apparently these are Pokemon that are supposed to be owned by gym leaders. You'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll show you like so. This is Misty's Horsey, and you can tell it's Misty's because it's got her little face there and her gym badge. This belongs to Mitzi. Misty. So there's that. Then there's Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. I forgot his name for a second. His name is Magnemite. And then here's Brock's Geodude. You know, you know that's his. And then Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. And then a Tangela. And see, I didn't know how this was going to go. I'm just going to pretty much just be listing off, here's this card, here's that card, here's this other card. But you know what? I have a lot of cards, so I'm enjoying this. All right, going over these old memories here. So this is Misty's, no, no, no. Erica. Erica's Tangela. And here is Sabrina's Venomoth. I don't think Sabrina actually owns a Venomoth in any of the things here. Interesting thing about Sabrina here. In the manga, one of the mangas, Sabrina is actually a Team Rocket agent. So that's a thing. All right, next one here is two Pokemon owned by Brock. I, I, always, I like this one here because it's Brock's Lickitung. Why on earth would Brock own a Lickitung? Brock owns Rock and ground types. This is neither of those. This is a lick -a tongue. I don't quite get it, but I just... Anyway, uh, so yeah, Brock's uh, golem there. And then this is Brock with an onyx there. This is the card that actually inspired me to do this video. I was looking at this when I was comparing against the trading cards here. I got from that movie showing, and I brought this card out to compare the size. And it's a bit beaten up. You can you can tell by looking at it, it's pretty damaged, but it still looks good. In preparation of this video, I looked up what some of these Japanese cards are to be able to say that's that's what this is. This card does this, and it's named this, but I've forgotten. I don't know what this card does. It'll be on the screen. I'll put it on the screen there, so you'll be able to see it. But I have no idea what this card does. It's you know feeding an onyx. Then I have this double energy with its description there that I can't read. And I have this other double energy here. The only reason why I'm bringing it up because it's clearly also a Japanese card, but you couldn't tell by looking at the front of it because there's no text, it's double energy. Uh, so Pokemon released two gym related sets and these are Pokemon from the second one. Didn't know, you couldn't tell by looking at the two sets that they are different. Like I mentioned, the icon lets you know what set it's from but it looks exactly the same as this set. The icon looks exactly the same, so I, I couldn't tell by looking at it. The only reason why I know is I looked it up in order to do these videos. So apparently, the first ones I showed you were from, and I forgot again, the Gym Heroes set. And this is from the Gym Challenges set. I couldn't tell the difference, but anyway, more Pokemon owned by Gym Leaders. This is gonna be Blaine's Rhydon. Again, I don't know why Blaine would own a Rhydon, but that's neither here nor there. Then there's, this is one of my favorite ones from this set. It's Giovanni's Persian. Now you see, this goes against type, but it makes sense. Because in the anime, Giovanni, the evil Giovanni owned a Persian that was his mascot Pokemon. So this makes sense here. And it's shiny, shiny, shiny. More Pokemon from Electrode. No, I keep screwing up. More Pokemon from Lu. Tenet 
Surge. I'm going to just cut all this and do it again. More Pokemon from Lieutenant Surge here. This is a Electrode, and he is awesome looking. Look at him. He's just, he's just winking at you like he just doesn't care. He doesn't give a crap. He doesn't give a crap that I flubbed all my lines trying to explain him. This one is also really, really cool. I like it. It is a Rocket Grunt Zapdos. Don't know what Giovanni is doing in trusting Zapdos to a Rocket Grunt. And also for a Gym Leader set, Rocket Grunts aren't Gym Leaders. What the hell? So I got some Sabrina cards here. I got a Sabrina Ambra and a Sabrina Ghastly and a Sabrina Gengar. Gengar is actually my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. So it's cool that I have this mean looking guy. Except I wish now I had a Sabrina Haunter to complete the set. If there even is a Sabrina Haunter. So then I got Sabrina... No, I forgot what card it was. And then a Sabrina Kadabra. All right, so that, that ends my list of Japanese cards. Now on to the American cards. These are the bulk of my cards. If you can even see that this is in frame. These are the bulk of my cards here. They are, I'll, so I'll go through them quickly. But basically these are the Gen 1 cards. These are the ones I originally started collecting. We have a couple quirks in here, so I'll get to those when I come to it. So I'm going to try to make rapid fire these. I got a Jinx and a couple of Machops here. Holy cow, I have a lot of Machops. So I have like freaking five, oh, you can't see that. Five Machops there, a couple of Machokes, and a Machamp. As you can see, it's a first edition shiny, which is apparently the most common first edition shiny there is, but you know, whatever, it's cool. It, I like it, he's my man, he's got four arms. You know, let me just take these out now. I, I have something to say about one particular card and I wanna make sure I don't forget it. All right, so I have a Magmar, then a Pidgey, and a Pidgeotto. For some reason, a Pidgeot is not in this set, so I'll be getting to my Pidgeot, Pidgeot later, but I do have a Pidgeot. So then there's Rattata, Diglett, Diglett. I wish I had three, so I can go Diglett, Dig, Diglett, Dig, Trio, Trio, Trio. And then there's Kakuna. No, wait, no. There's a Weedle. This is a Weedle, not a Kakuna. This is a Kakuna. And a Beedrill. I've got a pair of Poliwags, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, no Poliwrap. That's a Poliwhirl. Holy cow, how many freaking Abras do I have? I have... Five Abras. Yeah, I'm going through these. I'm going through them. Pair of Kadabra. Farfetch'd. Ghastly. Another Ghastly. Got a Haunter, but it's not Sabrina's Haunter. It's a regular Haunter, but, you know, at least I have a Haunter. Then I have an English version of my shiny Hitmonchan. Oh, no, I did forget to mention it. Okay, I'm going to rewind a little bit. Apparently, some of my cards are fake. Uh, you may not be able to tell by looking at it, but looking at... These two, this Machamp is fake. I mean, if you look closely, you can tell it clearly is printed. It looks a bit faded, both on the front and on the back. So I have no idea how I got this fake card. Some jerk probably traded it for me. That's probably, you know, this is probably what I got for my freaking Meryl, now that I think about it. The kid is giving a fake card for my awesome Pika Blue. You can tell that it's fake. This by feeling it and look if you can take a look here they're actually physically big this is this is the Machamp sorry Machoke is physically bigger than the other cards so that was a bit of a letdown going through my cards after all these years to find out I have some fake ones it's not even like you know oh I have a fake Charizard which is now super burn selling for a couple hundred bucks no I got a fake Machoke okay so I got my uh, Caterpie and my Metapod the one on the left is a fake who fakes a Metapod? Like, I'm gonna get this scheme to make fake Pokemon cards, make a fake freaking Metapod. This one's more obvious, because the color is just different. In addition to the whole size thing, it's physically... Oh, I didn't notice this. They could even copy it well, because the thing is upside down. The ball's upside down. It's not like I'm holding the card upside down. The ball's upside down. So I got a fake <laughs> Metapod. Yay, not tournament legal. All right, so then I got a uh, couple of squirtles and my damaged war, war turtle, if you can see that. I got my, my Blastoise. All right, so I got Magikarp. Awesome, shiny Gyarados. Seal. Full Torp. A couple of Ivysaurs. Apparently no Venusaur. Apparently I don't want a Venusaur. Oh no, I do. I just have them out of order. Haha. <laughs> Here's my Venusaur. It's also damaged. A Nidorino who's not in the right place is not where he's supposed to be. I actually bother to kind of sort these out ahead of time so I can get all the evolution lines together. But 
Nidorino that place here. So I got a four pack of Charmanders. Charmeleon. No Charizard, like I said, but whatever. Pikachu. Drowsy. Star U. I got a couple of Star U's. Got a single Star Me. You know, let, let's do that so you can actually see it there. There you go. Two Onyxes. Uh, pair of coughings. As you can see, most of my cards are crap and not very com not very rare. But you know what? They're mine. These are the I've had these since I was a little kid. <laughs> you know, cut me some slack. <laughs> I wasn't I didn't have a lot of money to buy a bunch of cards. I have a bunch of fake cards. That tells you the quality of my collection there. Alright, here's Tangela, Sand Shrew. I got a pack of Ponytas, Magnemite, and a shiny shiny Magneton. Alright, to finish up the basic set, we got Doduo. Uh oh, what's this? Another fake card, fake Porygon. Why a fake Porygon? It's an uncommon. Whatever. Now I just have uh, trainer cards. My, uh, was, that, was I even gonna share these? I don't know if I was gonna share these. I'm not gonna waste your time with that. All right, now on to the next part. All right, so the next set I own, that's the, the second largest set that I have, is the jungle set. I believe it's the first expansion pack that the original Pokemon game came with. So, some of the Pokemon that didn't have final evolutions in the base are represented here. So, let's take a look. Got a Pidgey out there. And like I mentioned, the sets you can tell by the images on there. So, the jungle set's got a little a vile plume topper there. Venonat, Venomoth. A lot of bell sprouts. Holy cow, how many bell sprouts do I have? One, two, three, five. Five bell sprouts. Ah, ah, ah. Followed by a Weep Bell. No Vile Plume, apparently. Tauros. Goldeen. Sea King. A lot of these are apparently first editions. Yay. Rhyhorn. Actually, a pair of Rhyhorns. Rhydon. It's about to charge everybody. The saddest looking Cubone I've ever seen. Marowak. Execute. Executor. Dodrio. Jigglypuff. Clefable. A couple of Eevees there. A few Pikachus. Rapidash. A Mankey. And a Primeape. Uh -huh. Some Meowths. Persian. Paris. A uh, CGI Oddish there. Followed by another CGI Oddish. CGI Gloom. No Vile Plume. Some uh, female Nidorans with a Nidorina. Firo. Firo. Kangaskhan. And the Pokemon that is tied for my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1. Snorlax here. And he's a even a shiny. I really like Snorlax. He's my kind of guy. He's gonna stay here the rest of the video. Uh, then a Butterfree. That completes the jungle set. On to the next expansion that I own, which is the fossil set. All right, here we go. I have a Cedra. Hey, Kabuto. But actually, let me go back a bit. Apparently in this game, you have to actually put the fossils into play and then evolve this on top of it. I know a little bit about the game. I'm not an expert, but it seems weird. Maybe it was only a Gen 1 thing. I don't know. But I also have a couple of tops. Aerodactyl. A couple of Ammonites. This was the point of the fossil site as to bring in the fossil Pokemon there. Zubat. Golbat. Gastly. And another Gengar. My favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Arbok. A pair of Krabbies. A super shiny Muck there. Tentacool, Hypno. Usually I don't want to bore you with the trainer cards or item cards like that, but I feel like a couple of these are worth mentioning. That's horrible. Look at that little sad Jigglypuff there. And the card's called Recycle. Are you going to recycle this turn to another Jigglypuff? That's terrible. Look at him. He's just so sad. Here's that fossil I was telling you about. So apparently you put this into play and then evolve your fossil on top of it. It, even has, it only has 10 HP. Okay. <laughs> Now on to the next set, which is called Base Set 2. It's essentially just reprints of the first original base set. So some of these cards are going to be familiar, uh, but you know what? I own them. I'm going over them. This is my stuff. I'm going to talk about it. Rowlith there. Another CGI Star U. Male Nidoran. And I guess some of these come from other sets, because this is, this is the female Nidoran from the jungle set I talked about earlier. So apparently it's not just the base Pokemon. It's reprints of previous sets. Another Abra. Another Eradicate. Actually, I didn't have a Raticate previously, so my only Raticate, Parasect, and Electabuzz, and a Switch, but, you know, I don't care. Alright, we're getting towards the end here. The next one is my US versions of the Team Rocket set. We'll only start with this first one here. The first one I have is a Dark Weezing. 
and it's a shiny. The next one I have is this little Slowpoke here. Look at him. He's just so tired. He's sleepy. But what makes a Pokemon dark versus not dark? It's clear it's not dark typing since I don't think the set that Gen 2 existed when the set came out. But are these Pokemon who are willingly evil? Because I mean, I have this dark Slowbro here and he doesn't look, he looks like he's a, a bit evil. Like he's a willing participant of that Rocket Grunt back here. Then you have this Dratini. He just looks so sad. And I don't feel like this Dratini is a willing participant a willing participant in evil. He just he's just sad and lonely. This Raticate though, definitely evil. Got a Meowth, Zubat, a Mankey, Dark Primate. Okay, now see, this Psyduck is obviously evil. I mean come on, look at his face. That's not a headache face, that's evil face. This is a freaking look at that. That's an awesome Golduck. I wish actual Golducks were that cool. Look at that. I got a Diglett. A English version of the same Machop I have for the Japanese set. Dark Machamp. And he's all shiny and ready to kill. Oddish. Drowsy. This should be a dark drowsy. Because, I mean, have you run a Pokedex for a drowsy? They kidnap children. Evil. Eevee. You know, this one looks happy. But then it could potentially evolve into Dark Jolteon. Or Dark Vaporeon. I don't have a Dark Flareon. But I wish I did. And there's a Squirtle. Dark Arbok. You know, apparently I lied to you a little bit. I don't have a regular Charizard, but I do have a shiny dark Charizard. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. And I have a Voltorb that can evolve into a dark Electrode. Ooh. A pervy Grimer who's looking up girls' skirts, apparently. You sicko. So obviously he evolves into Dark Muck. Bah. Magikarp, Dark Kadabra, a coughing, and then a Porygon. And what do you know? It's actually a real card. Hmm. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk about the trainers. Just look at that. Imposter Oak's revenge. Who is Imposter Oak and what? why is he wanting revenge? He just looks evil. Look at that. I wish Imposter Oak were actually a thing, like it would be in the games or something, or even in the anime. But if there is an Imposter Oak in the anime, that would be awesome. This is what a Lolan Oak should have been. And then two cards we don't care about. Alright, we don't have much stuff left. Now onto my only Gym Hero set for America, which is this uh, Venonat here. And to end everything, I'm going to talk about my promotional cards. Not really all, something all that special. Mostly just my uh, Mewtwo for seeing the Pokemon movie, which actually it's probably not good that I'm showing these because I have two of them. One is mine, one is most likely my sister's. So it's mine. I've owned it for over 10 years. I'm not getting it back. <laughs> it's mine now. Possession is nine tenths of the law. This final card's a bit of a mystery to me. It is another promotional card but I haven't been able to find out much information. But these, I know I got these while seeing the Pokemon movie in theaters. I know where they came from. I don't know where I got this. I cannot find much information on where these were distributed or how I could have gotten my hands on it. But it's a promotional Pikachu from Gen 1. It's all CG. And I tried to look online for it. I have a hard time finding pictures of it. I'll most likely have a picture of it on screen by now and you're looking at it, but at the time it's recording, I couldn't find one. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up my Pokemon card. I have energies, of course, but I'm not going to... So I have a grass energy, and another grass energy, and another grass energy. Oh, wait, something different? No, it's not. It's another grass energy. I'm not going to do that. I am so thankful that you guys have stayed this long on this video anyway. I'm not going to bore you with all my energy cards. But yeah, that wraps everything up. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time where I'm going to be going over some Funko Pops that I have. I've been sitting on this script for a while, been working on it bit by bit over time. Very happy to get that released, and that'll be coming out any day now. But for now, thank you so much again for watching, and feel free to click on any of my other videos to catch up until my next video comes out. See you then. Uh, excuse me, sir. I am trying to go over my Pokemon cards here. Do you mind? Don't you bump the camera. Rocky, go to sleep. I'll try to film. Oh, you're just happy that I'm talking to you now, are you? Do you mind? I'm trying to film here. <laughs>
Okay, you can, you can keep looking yourself. I'm going to share some Pokemon cards. Any day now. <laughs> All I'm just going to start. Alright, so. I'm sure. <sighs> Hello again. I'm trying to film here, buddy. Alright, so I have some. I have a post credit scene now. 